Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Back here with a new series I'm doing. I'm going to be playing through Daggerfall Unity. No really particular agenda or specific thing I'm going to be doing. I'm just going to be playing the game, uh, showing off Daggerfall Unity because I really love Daggerfall. Um, and I think Daggerfall Unity does a great job of updating Daggerfall, making it more playable uh, for a modern audience. So if you're not familiar with Daggerfall, it's the second game in the Elder Scrolls series. It's kind of known for its you know, deep role-playing mechanics, it's huge game world, it has one of the biggest game maps in any video game, and it's known for its kind of pioneering style in terms of uh, randomization. So much of the game world is randomized, um, which allows it to have this huge scale. So yeah, let's get into it. So I'm actually going to be uh, talking while I play, unlike my Thief videos, which are still ongoing, and you should totally check those out. Um, those I, I talk after I record. So this I'm going to be playing and talking at the same time. And it tells me that there's something with mod compatibility, but it's all good. And you can see this intro right here has been remastered to be in HD. Check it out. Crackling to the fire there. <laughs> Beautifully remastered uh, title screen. So yeah, I love uh, Daggerfall just because of its, you know, huge deep role playing mechanics and its skill system and just its style. I don't know. Uh, Elder Scrolls kind of went away from the randomization and the huge game world with Morrowind, which I also love, and I might do that on my channel someday. But so where should we? This is how you pick your race in Daggerfall. You have to choose uh, what province you're born in. So, you know, High Rock is Bretons, Hammerfell is the Red Guards, Skyrim's the Nords, Morrowind's the Dark Elves, Field Province is in the game, but it's not playable. Uh, Imperials aren't playable yet until uh, Morrowind. Elsewhere is the Khajiit. Valen Woods the Wood Elves, Black Marsh Argonians, and Somerset Isle High Elves. So, hmm, what kind of character do I want to be? Dark Elves hail from the province of Morrowind. You are part of a tall, dark-skinned people known to be extremely strong, intelligent, and quick. They are extremely versatile in all manners of skills and well-known as warriors and mages. Is your character to be a Dark Elf? Well, I kind of want to play a mage because Usually in Elder Scrolls games, I play thieves or stealth characters. I mean, not really surprise you if you see me play how much I love Thief, uh, the Dark Project in that series. So I'm probably honestly the least skilled with magic. So I think it'd be cool to play a mage. Um, I'm thinking either Dark Elf or High Elf. High Elves hail from the province of Somerset. You are part of a tall, golden-skinned people, extremely intelligent, agile, and willful. The magical nature of Somerset Isle has made the High Elves natural spellcasters who are immune to paralyzing poisons and spells. Is your character to be a High Elf? Hmm. Now, High Elves are kind of like the stereotypical mages, but I almost feel it's kind of like played out. I've never been a Dark Elf in Morrowind. Yeah, but those High Elves, they're so damn good with magic. I mean, I could be really goofy here and pick an Argonian and make them a mage, but you know what? I'm just gonna I'm gonna go with the classic and be a high elf here. I'm gonna be a male. So this is really cool. This is how you uh, create your class and you can create a custom class or choose from a list of classes or you can answer questions um, and generate a class. Um, so, but I'm going to pick a custom class here. Now, honestly, if anybody's played Daggerfall knows, and I'd recommend this for first timers, but I definitely recommend creating a custom class because these preset classes have spells selected for your class that are not spells that you're really going to use. So I definitely recommend almost everybody creating a custom class. So, hmm. Alright, so we're going to be a mage, so we definitely want destruction magic as a primary skill. We probably also want 
a a weapon skill, which I usually recommend. Everybody should have a primary weapon skill, I feel like. Hmm, what should we use? How about blunt weapon? I usually don't go with blunt weapon, so I'm gonna mix it up a little bit here. I should pick another magic skill. I'm thinking... Let's do alteration. Major skill, I'm gonna go with mysticism. Um, go with illusion. Restoration. So I think that's all the magic skills, if I'm not mistaken. Now, we have to select our minor skills. I'm thinking, let's go with, in terms of useful things, we'll go with mercantile. It's useful, get better prices when you talk to merchants. Stealth is really easy to level up, so picking stealth is really, I don't think, a great idea. Your stealth skill is checked automatically when you are in like a dungeon or you're around enemies. Swimming is kind of useless, especially if you're playing a mage. Hmm. You know what? It's it's usually not a good idea to pick language skills, but why not? I mean, it's just a just to see what we see what we kind of do play through. So I'm not taking it super seriously. I'm not trying to like break the game or anything. I don't know if I want to pick all language skills actually though. Maybe just maybe just like Daedric and Dragonish. Do climbing. Climbing is a cool skill that they eliminated after Daggerfall, which it's basically just checked anytime you're against the surface, you're up against the surface and you have a chance to climb it. Um, so it's really cool because you can climb around dungeons and climb up buildings. Climbing up buildings isn't super useful, but it can really help in dungeons for sure. You want to have running, why not? Actually, I think about it. Let's do speech skills instead. We'll say my character is really good at talking to Daedra because he's connected to the to magic. What's well, streetwise? So streetwise is like how you get along with like talking to people in like the lower classes and etiquette's more like high class kind of people like kings and nobles and stuff like that. So we are a mage. So we're gonna take endurance down a little bit because we're we're a squishy mage. Strength we're definitely going to take down because I'm not going to be carrying a lot of weapons or armor. And you're going to want to definitely put a lot into willpower and intelligence for sure. Speed. My guy's going to be kind of a, a nerd. He's going to be really slow and weak, but really smart. personality to he's gonna correct people on message boards and all that kind of stuff just be completely unlikable so this is also really cool you can add um, advantages and disadvantages to your class which actually makes the game harder or easier depending on on what you what you add so that's pretty neat actually so these are advantages. How about we do increased magic? Let's do three times. This is going to give us more of a magic pool to cast from. Expertise in blunt weapons, so we start off there with some skill. Hmm. 
Okay, so that's let's try that for advantage. So spell absorption, which will be good against other mages. Let's add some disadvantages here. Let's do forbidden weaponry because I'm going to be a a mage anyway. So I'm going to be using blunt weapons and destruction magic. So let's say we I can't use I'm forbidden from using long blades. Forbidden from using bows and arrows. Now there's a limit to how many uh, advantages and disadvantages you can have. So you kind of want to pick pick kind of the bigger ones. Let's say shields. I'm not going to really be using shields much. Round shield. Kind of phobia too. Can make him daedric phobic, which would be kind of ironic because we can speak daedric somewhat. So it'd be kind of like kind of a contradiction in my character. You can also make it so that your character can only use magic in like dark spaces, and it's kind of dumb. Damage from holy places? Nah. Makes him kind of like a necromancer basically. It would be really ironic to make a make blunt weapon forbidden. <laughs> get that get that down a little bit. Uh -huh. See what it does. Eh, no, I'm not. Forbidden material. I want to at least get it down to average. So. Let's say. My character has a natural immunity to paralysis, so honestly, a critical weakness, I think, in in regular Daggerfall, it's broken, but in Daggerfall Unity, it I think it equals out to like 50%, I only have a 50% resistance, so, oh yeah, so that brought it down a pretty good bit there. Let's see, let's start over since that brought it down so much. Damage from holy places. You know what? I think that that's what we're gonna kind of role play. I'll role play into that as my character. My character's more friendly with Daedra and kind of more of the undead and necromancers and kind of the more the forbidden arts. So now let's add long blade. Forbidden from using long blade. I mean, because it makes sense, right? I mean, if you have a character that's studying magic and you know knows how to use like maces and stuff for self-defense, they're not probably going to know how to use all kinds of weapons. That guy's going to be no shields. Shields are for the weak. Got it down back to average there. I think that's the max right there, so that's pretty good. So equal to a 50%. Uh, take our immunity down to 50%. Uh, damage from holy places. Can't use any shields. We can't use long blades. So I think that's pretty cool. So class name. So my character is going to be a wizard, and I'm going to be the best wizard. So. It only be natural to be the uh, Grand Wizard, I think. So, alright, I'm going to be a Grand Wizard. So, um, this is cool. You can uh, fast start by automatically generating your character's background. So, um, you character's background is auto-generated, or you answer questions that influence your character's background. So, you can actually get more items and bonuses this way than you could from... 
uh, from picking automatically. So, which school of magic have you been studying the longest? Well, I'm going to probably be casting a lot of fireballs, so let's go destruction. What motivates you into a life of adventure? Well, my character's a nerd, so I'm going to say knowledge. In between time, you, in between formal study, you spend your time uh, learning economics, learning street sports, sparring, swimming, practicing cards. So this is obviously etiquette. This is obviously streetwise. This is mercantile. I think mercantile because that gives you better prices with merchants. Since childhood, you have saved a favorite book, pearl, a curious, or a hundred gold. Um, let's say a book. Books are actually pretty valuable in this game. In gratitude for your service, the Emperor gave you the Ebony Dagger is always the best because you can sell it and also Ebony is not available usually early in the game. As you grew older, you received... Oh, we love that destruction magic, so I'm doubling down. As a child, your nickname was Rabbit, Quicksilver, Monkey, Guppy, Scrapper. Hmm. Well, Quicksilver is... A pretty cool X-Men, so when he had that cool scene in uh, Days of Future Past where he dodges the bullets, we'll go Quicksilver. You're friendlier than most with the Savage Harpies, oh, that's kind of racist language there. The Simple Giants, wow, that's also kind of bigoted. The Glorious Dragons, this is like some dragon supremacist. Immodest Nymphs, Infernal Daedra. Spriggans, Primitive Centaurs, Mischievous Imps. Well, we've already said that we really like Daedra, so we're going with Daedra. Of all disagreeable types, you have the most personal hatred for, wow, Sanctimonious Priests, Diabolic, I mean, that would be kind of like self-hating there. Uh, stupid Peasants, wow, oh, jeez. Power Mad Robber Barons or Immoral Assassins. Well, we already get damage from holy places, so we're going to say Priests. My character just not... You're intimate friends with a monk. That would be that would be funny. We hate priests. We we die if we stand in a holy place, but the BFS with a monk. I'm gonna say a mage. We're a mage. We like mages. I'm gonna be an edgy atheist. I'm gonna say I don't worship any gods. You have the most trouble with resisting poisons. Staying up. that's me in real life right there. Getting along with others, avoiding diseases, resisting magic, fighting without magic. Let's say fighting without magic. So we have a high reputation with scholars, everybody else, we're unchanged. So this is another thing too with Daggerfall. Every kind of class in society has a, um, a reputation level that you can have with, so you can piss people off. So if you, you know, if you mess with, oh, almost dropped the F on there, you mess with the underworld, um, you know, they'll come after you and they'll hate you, you know, kings and nobles the same way. You can raise your status with these groups by doing quests for them and things like that. So this is actually kind of important. This can uh, close off our open branches of the game. Name thyself. Hmm. Let's see a random name. I don't even know how to say that. Cyrodiil Stimulus. Lover and Great Watch. Cirrus Stormwatch. Hmm. Not gonna say all these. Mm hmm. Gamless Thromus. No. Oh, these are all so stupid. Something simple like, uh, hmm, I'm trying to think of any famous wizards. I mean, like, fictionally, obviously. Hmm, let's be, let's be mean, be mean, the uh, merc, merc, uh, it's not ice, but merciless. Let's just, let's just call him Ming. How about that? What do we look like? Can we have anybody that looks like Ming the Merciless? No, not really. But, eh. 
This guy looks pretty edgy. Let's go with him. Okay. We're definitely going to put a ton of them points in the intelligence. And got my... Let's get endurance back up to standard there. Let's do willpower. I think that's pretty good. Hmm. So this is another thing that's cool too. This is kind of like a difficulty slider. So as it says, um, basically the reflex system is enemies move faster and they uh, hit harder basically on very high but you level up faster and on very low enemies are pretty pretty slow and pretty kind of they don't hit very hard but you level up slower so this kind of is a cool like dynamic level scaling system so I'm gonna go very high you know just to make it difficult and it's, I think it's fun too because you level up super quick all right so we are Ming the Grand Wizard uh, very high reflex let's do it Four hundred years after Tyrosephus' reign, the beginning will meet the end and the bloody circle will close in the Empire of Cambriel. The unworthy heirs of the Septim dynasty have allowed Let's skip the, this law intro. Of the Empire to weaken and crack. Looks pretty good in HD to be honest. I mean, this is a remaster, basically, of a game from 1996, so really impressive work overall. Um, and I have a lot of mods installed too, I forgot to mention, uh, for Daggerfall and Unity. Most of them focus on just making the game uh, prettier and adding more detail and things like that. I do have a few gameplay mods. Um, I have one that adds like more random quests and like more random encounters, so it kind of makes the world more alive and dynamic. Excuse the gloom, but none may know it. I have one that changes the... Uh, the damage system because in Daggerfall, like armor and stuff like that, uh, it doesn't add like to damage resistance. It's like your chance, the chance of the enemies to miss. So I have a mod that fixes that. So like armor and things like that calculates like damage resistance, like it does in the newer Elder Scrolls games, which is actually a change. It's a change in the newer games. I enjoy. It just makes more sense. Like armor should, you know, block, block or reduce damage, not you know make you, do you know, why is wearing a heavy suit of armor that can make you dodge better than a robe? It doesn't make sense. So it makes the dodging skill more important. It's a nice gameplay balance to tweak, I think. But overall, I don't like to mess too much with the gameplay of classic Daggerfall. It's mostly just, I like bug fixes and things, and things that stay true to the spirit of, of Daggerfall, I find. I ask this as your input. And as your friend, I have one lesser request. Several years ago, I have to get well. We don't have to, but that's what's great about Daggerfall is you can completely ignore the the main quest and still play for you know hundreds or hundreds of hours or whatever. But the Emperor wants us to get his uh, saucy letter back from uh, that he sent to the Queen that never arrived. Now, my champion, rest well this night. For tomorrow, we sail, sail, the, sail kingdom the kingdom of, of Daggerfall. That's pretty. Uh, that's a pretty actually good live-action cinematic for a game that had, you know, basically no budget. It's a mod that I have installed. Basically, just encounters in the wilderness, so you'll find like enemies and bandits. So we'll turn that on. Yeah, Earth Encounters, Forest Encounters, these are just random encounters, so, like I said, that just makes the, the game more alive. Yeah, we'll leave it destroyed, why not? These are just all the mods activating. Do, 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 do. Move the character around. So, 
as you can see, everything is, the environments are actually textured. This was textured in regular, uh, in vanilla Daggerfall, it's uh, sprites. So, this is all textured in the Unity engine, so we are going to make a, um, check my controls here. What's my quick save? Cast spell. We're gonna need that. What's my spell book? Oh, there it is. Touch, shock. Oh, I'm blending, cool. F6. I'm gonna equip that ebony dagger. I don't have any blunt weapons yet. Oh man, I'm so slow. I have another character who's a thief who's a hundred in speed, so he just is like like really fast. No. This is shock is on touch, so Yeah. Make a save real quick here. Save it as Ming. So yeah, I love Daggerfall. Um, you know, this isn't a review, but none of my videos so far have been reviews. I'd probably actually sit down and script if I was going to do a review, but you know, basically just just classic role playing. Basically, you know, if you like, if you're watching this, then you probably have some interest in Daggerfall and just. It can't be classic D&D style role playing in my opinion. All these tutorials activate just time time passes. Oh man. Think about being a squishy mage. Yeah. Now, there's also a mod where, in regular uh, Daggerfall, enemies will respawn in dungeons. And I have a mod activated, it's called uh, Persistent Dungeons, so basically, um, instead of enemies respawning... Ooh, man, he's really taking me down. Uh, instead of enemies respawning, um, they'll stay how they are for a certain period of time. Now, if you leave the dungeon and then come back, um, after a while they'll have respawned, but... It's like a certain number of days that it like saves the dungeon, so I recommend that because it's just it's kind of annoying like have to you sleep in a dungeon you you know you rest in a dungeon because that's how you heal in Dagger Falls you rest and then um, you know then everybody respawns and now you're being killed by enemies it's like well how does that how did that bear get in the dungeon like before you know he wasn't there so man I can't hit him come on. Come on, me. Yeah. Now, this game too has like a whole like, spell crafting suite, and you can craft like magical items. So I don't know much about the magic in this game because, like I said, I play thieves, but I do know that. There's a huge, like, magical, like, suite, basically, in the game that the newer games lack, so I'm very curious to see how that'll play out. I've never worked for the Mages Guild in this game, so it's going to be fun. Yeah. I don't know why, but... With uh, killing with spells in this game, so far it's just so satisfying because your chance to hit isn't, I feel like, as high as ooh, with a weapon. Now I also have health bars on, so that's cool because. Okay. 
hopefully don't die here. It's cool because uh, in Villain Daggerfall you really um, don't see you know, how much damage you're doing to an enemy, so it's kind of, you don't really know if you should keep fighting, or you should retreat, or that bear just kind of spawned. Oh, that's great. But, yeah, like, so I feel like that's also a very important mod. Especially with spells, because spells don't make, like, the, the sound or the blood like a weapon does, so it's hard to know if you're hitting all the time with the spell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Persistent dungeons should be on, but they're definitely respawning. They shouldn't be. Oh, wow. That was a good kill. I healed. Just gotta get out of Privateer's hold here. I'm blending. No, I want to be shocking. Honestly, I should probably just run, but I do want some. You want some levels up here, or you know, try to level up some of my skills here. Oh man, I'm dead. Oh, I've been saved since the imp. Oh boy, you know what? We just might run. Just might run. This dungeon isn't isn't that big. I mean, you can escape fairly easily. Not this way, though. And also, I have a mod that installed their enemies will fight each other, which is kind of silly. I mean, this game's pretty old, so it's kind of understandable from being like from 1996, but games where like enemies that aren't, in general, I guess, games that enemies are not allied. You know, like beasts, you know, like enemies that couldn't ally, like a, a rat and a bear. Like, how would they, they don't have, like, the cognitive ability to be like, hey, let's work together to kill this guy. Like, so, always find, find it silly in games. But, uh, yeah, so basically the mod adds it so where, um, I died again, um, where enemies will fight each other. So, I think that's really cool. Man, we are really weak. I know we're a mage, but... Now I'm gonna definitely save. I feel like quick save is like F10 or F11, but it's not working for some reason, so what is? dagger that much because well, A, I'm really slow, and B, I'm not majoring or have any skill in short blades, so this is all just kind of a waste to use a short blade. I really just need to get out of here. I should just go and get out, find a town, start the process of building my character more formally. Uh, don't kill me, I'm dead. Hope you guys like uh, saving and reloading the video series. Now, this is going to hopefully be like that forever once I actually start to level up a little bit. I have heard from, you know, others that basically early game mage is a lot of, you know, kind of this kind of thing. and Because your chance to hit's pretty low and you're not really, you don't have any points in your skills, so it's tough. It's tough early game. It's tough out there for a mage. Up out there for a grand wizard. Yeah. Yeah. 